Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanted to do a little review on some motors that I've been using recently. Uh, I've been flying these 3B 2207 Pro motors now for a little over a month. So I feel that I can actually say how I feel about them, give you guys an honest review, some honest feedback and things like that. So let's break into, the, uh, into a new motor. And we can start talking about it from there. Let me grab one over here. All right, so motor I'm talking about today is 3B2207 Pro, and this is the 6S version in 1750KB. Now, you can actually use this on 4S if you wanted. Uh, I haven't personally tried it yet, but I know that there's some people out there that like flying these low KV motors on 4S to do proxy work. Uh, I do all my proxy on 6S, but I would like to give it a try, see how it goes. Anyway, into the motor, you get this real nice case here. Uh, it has some specs listed here on the back. Let's go through the specs and see how accurate they are. So the first one is my size. Uh, that one doesn't really come into play because that's the outer size. We have a weight of 30 and a half grams, excluding the cable. Uh, this says it's for a five to six inch prop. Uh, shaft diameter is five millimeter. Our cable length is 150 millimeter, which is quite long. Uh, I haven't measured it yet, but I will. Number of cells, 5S through 6S. Again, I don't see a problem with running this on 4S at all whatsoever. Uh, max continuous current, they have this rated at. And this is a new spec. I don't see this on a lot of manufacturer motors. Uh, they're saying this is 34 amps. Uh, myself and my own testing running Dell 5040Cs, which is a, a real lightweight prop. This is a prop that I prefer for, for uh, freestyle. I've only seen uh, max current on the Betaflight OSD come in at a little over 100 amps. But again, I'm not heavy into the throttle, I'm not a racer, and uh, I fly these lightweight props with, uh, with low pitch. So that helps keep my efficiency up. So let's get into the motor. You get this real nice packaging. You get the motor itself, and like I said, it's a lot of wire which is really nice, especially if you were going to toss these on a, uh, on a six inch build or hell, you know, honestly, I would probably even give these a try on a seven inch rig. I do have a seven, seven inch rig. So maybe I will try these on there later on down the road. Uh, and then also inside of here, you get this little accessory bag. So they give you six pieces of this gold hardware that looks pretty fancy and two lock nuts. My only gripe on hardware that was included is I would love to see one of these retaining screws in here. I'd love to see this and I'd love to see that washer. The screw itself you can source fairly easily. The washer I haven't really looked that hard but I haven't seen a lot of suppliers for this washer. Uh, however what they do do and before I take this off, I already had done this, but what I recommend is heating this up before you take this off the very first time. There's a lot of uh, Loctite on that, and I use MIP drivers, so I'm not really concerned about stripping it, but unfortunately, when I was going to clean some, uh, some metal shavings out of a motor, when I was flying in a bando, I did end up stripping one of these out uh, thankfully it was fairly easy to remove. Uh, I took a Dremel and cut a little slot in there and took it out with a flathead. So it wasn't that bad, but definitely heat this up. What I recommend doing is taking your soldering iron, put that sucker to the hottest temperature and just let that sit on there for a minute or two. That'll loosen up the Loctite and make it a hell of a lot easier to take off. So let's get into the wire length really quick. Sorry I'm skipping around a little bit, but I'm not a seasoned reviewer, so I'm doing the best that I can do here. Let's zero that out. 
And just to check their claims and to make things easier on myself, we're going to set this to 150 millimeters. And we're going to see where they come up at with their measurements. So that's 149.95. And yeah, yeah, they're spot on. There's actually a little bit more. So, so yeah, you get a full 150 millimeters of wire. Since we got this out, let's check on our stator width and stator height. So this is what I was talking about. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is a fairly good amount of Loctite on there. I haven't had any fallout uh, and I haven't re loctited them either. So I think that's sufficient. Uh, definitely hold that in. Another thing to keep in mind when you take this off is watch this little washer so you don't lose this. It's kind of like initially stuck on there because it sits over the shaft. I don't know if you can see that, but it sits over the shaft a little bit. And these are hard to get apart. So, oh, this is another feature I wanted to talk about. You have this here, which is really, really nice. This plastic layer here. So if you run your screws a little long, you don't have to worry about shorting out your windings. Nice feature. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Uh, so let's get this off. All right. So as you can see here, this is a multi-strand wiring. I've only had one of these burn up on me in a little over a month. And that one honestly was my own fault. I was being lazy. I was in high grass. I kept trying to turtle, 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 and uh, yeah, turtle burned out my winding. So take it easy on the turtle mode out there, guys. I'm like the worst person with that. I hate going to pick up my quad and I'll turtle, turtle, and then I'll end up burning a winding. So I think I've gotten a little smarter on that. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, onto the stator diameter here. Our stator diameter is 22.04 and our stator height here is 7.4. So look at that. We got a little bit of a bonus. 2207.5 here. Uh, I hadn't measured these yet to be honest with you. And I have flown those 2207.5 motors that I've seen around just to try them. And I was kind of shocked when I tried this motor because it did feel almost like a 2207.5 from another brand that I had tried, uh, which is great, to be honest with you. Uh, what I do like more about this motor is it has a little more resolution from what I'm feeling in the bottom end, and to me, that is beneficial for proximity flying. I really like having that that high amount of resolution under half throttle range and uh, they have plenty of that and it also has plenty of pop at the top end. I've been very very happy with this motor and it's held up very well in crashes. Uh, again I'm skipping around a little bit but I want to make sure I cover everything. You can see this motor. This motor took a little bit of a uh, parking lot hit or something in a bando. Uh, this one here, it's in pretty good shape. So, got a couple scratches on it. You know, I've, I've put these things through some hits. You know, this one here, it's got a real nice hit on the top there, on the top of the bell. Held up. Still spins real nice. Uh, what else? Uh, that one. This one here. Uh, that one here is pretty good. And, oh, this one here has got a little bit of gnarly shit on there. I'm not sure what that's from. But, anyway, these motors have held up fantastic. Oh, and the wire, the wire is a 20-gauge wire. And, yeah, like it's... Yeah, so, again, to reiterate, I've had a lot of success with this motor. I'm very surprised to see that it's a 22.5 or 20, 2207.5, which is nice. The stator laminations here look fantastic. The crash durability has been great. The windings themselves look nice and clean. 
and the overall build quality looks good. Uh, the one thing that I do like about these in comparison to the other 2207.5 motors that I've flown, and again, they don't advertise the set as a 22, 2207.5, but I would say that it is based on what I measured here. Uh, it's kind of a no brainer. But what I do see is the aluminum here is much, much stronger than the other brand that has the 2207.5 out. And I'm not talking about Piroflip. Uh, just basically the, I'll mention that the Brother Hobby motors, they do have a, a slightly softer base, whereas this has a much stronger base. And I've been able to really crank down on these screws without using Loctite because I'm not really a fan of Loctite on mini quads. Unless it's absolutely needed. Uh, but I'm not much of a fan of that, so... That's good that it has a nice strong base. It's good that it has a nice strong aluminum. And oh, the last thing I wanted to talk about too. This is another feature that 3B doesn't talk about much is the bearing size. This, this motor has nine millimeter bearings in it. Look at that, would you? So we have nine millimeter bearings, four millimeter high, which is typical and four millimeter on the shaft, which is typical, but the nine millimeter here is not. These bearings have held up fantastic. They don't sound loud, they don't sound grindy. There's not a name on them, uh, so they're not like name brand bearings, but they've held up well. And yeah, I mean, this motor overall has been fantastic. It has a titanium shaft as well. And I can't really measure the magnet thickness from here. I might kind of be able to. Let me see what I can get. In case you guys are curious, because I know that that's sitting behind a small lip. There's a little lip here, which a lot of motor manufacturers do to stop the magnets from falling out. But I can give you an idea of what that magnet thickness is. And we're coming in at about 1.4, so there's probably a little bit behind there. So it's probably like a 1.6 millimeter bearing or 1.7, I guess. Uh, and again, the machining on this is fantastic. It's got a titanium shaft. It's hollow all the way through, I believe. Yep, hollow all the way through. I don't have anything smaller, but I can tell you that it is hollow all the way through. And that's about it. And again, my only gripes that I have with these so far is I, I really just wish that, and it's not only with them, it's with a lot of manufacturers, I really just wish that they would put a couple more spares in there, you know, meaning these two screws. This screw again here is easy to source, but this, this I got to find a source for. And if I find one, I'll definitely put it in the link, uh, a link to in the description of the video, but I really wish they would include an extra one of these. Other than that, I've been very, very happy with these. And I'm going to leave you with some crash clips. And then uh, you can get an idea of the durability and maybe a cool clip or two. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.